It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war? The government? They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel around with <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial, but 
After Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and... I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Amir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Damir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel...